This is the story of a man that takes three humans and connects them mouth to anus. But this is just a movie, being watched by a man that wants to do ass to mouth in real life, not this pretend shit. And instead of three humans, make it ten. I present to you Martin, the world's biggest fucko. At work, feeding his human centipede content addiction by constantly watching the movie. He even made a scrapbook for it. He licks his finger and rubs it on the scrapbook. He then spots two potential subjects for the centipede. And the editing in this movie is actually hilarious. I don't even think for half a second you're gonna break open that car, mate. So Martin is looking at this girl like, ooh. And this guy is like, you think you can fuck my girlfriend? Think again, cocksucker. And then Martin is like, no more Mr. Nice Guy, and starts shooting them. This movie is already more deranged than the first one, because at least in that, Dr. Hyder used a tranquilizer to prevent possibly mortally wounding people that he needed to keep alive. This level of recklessness is crazy. Then he just hits the girl in the head with his crowbar in the most unserious way possible. How are they not dead? He puts them in the trunk of his van and goes to see this nasty warehouse. And I must say, the look and atmosphere of this movie are disgusting. It being black and white and often dimly lit just makes this world look depressing and gives me this uncomfortable feeling, which is definitely intentional. So Martin likes what he sees and is like, huh, I'm gonna do some crazy shit in this bitch. Then the landlord says, Hey, come on, let's get this fucking lease signed, eh? And Martin is like, come again, pussy? Then we get this awkward cut to Martin crying over the dead landlord because he can't be used for the centipede. But for some reason, they decided not to show Martin killing him. When I first watched this, I thought I was tweaking because why would they not show that? It's so random based on how violent this movie is. But I mean, whatever man, I don't care. So Martin is clearly unwell and has a bizarre interest in the human centipede. And it doesn't help that the people around him all need to be executed. His dad is in prison for physically and sexually abusing him and his mom blames him for it and actively wishes that he were dead. Oh my God. Have you shit yourself again? And his psychiatrist just straight up wants to have sex with him. This might actually be the most degenerate movie I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this plate of food is like 70% baked beans. I guess it's not that crazy because they're in the UK, but I just wanted to point that out. I do like baked beans though. His mom bangs on the ceiling because she thinks the music is too loud in the apartment above them. The guy living there comes down pissed off and the mom is like, this guy right here has a problem with your music. Pretty much what she says is, Any of you bitch ass niggas that got a problem with me, come kill my uncle about it, pussy. I'm gonna play my music so fucking loud, it's gonna make your fucking ears bleed, you cocksucking dwarf. Next time you bash on that fucking CD. We return to Martin once again feeding his human centipede content addiction. And it's even worse than I could have possibly imagined. Martin gets some sandpaper and starts beating his dick with it. Martin starts jacking with it. Martin starts dry rubbing with it. Martin starts bludgeoning his penis. And I mean, he's just cranking, almost using the sandpaper like a pencil sharpener. Narr! Stop that, now. He goes home and finds his mom attempting to stab what she thinks is his sleeping body. And he's just completely unfazed. She then finds his human centipede scrapbook and Martin is like, gulp. And after she rips it up, he decides he's had enough and smashes her head. God, oh God! Martin is once again re-watching the human centipede at work, which is an indication to us that something bad is about to happen. He gets so excited during the pooping part that he shits himself and does nothing about it. It just marinates in his underwear. He then sees two men and a sex worker on the security cam, one of the men being his psychiatrist, who's like, you know, I'd rather fuck Martin, but this'll do. And the other guy's like, I know a place in Thailand where they specialize in that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I interrupted a nice streak of watching real cinema for this. Then Martin just goes and shoots them. A lot of this movie is just Martin gathering his victims in absurd ways. Oh, 
he recklessly shoots people and hits them in the head with his signature whack. The fact that there are only like three people that he accidentally kills is preposterous. He even manages to get the girl who played Jenny in The Human Centipede by tricking her into thinking that she was coming to London to be in a Quentin Tarantino movie. Um, it's probably a good time to mention that Martin has no lines of dialogue in this movie. Only laughs and moans, which means he made this happen purely through texting. Even when he picks Jenny up from the airport in his van and doesn't respond to anything she says, she still just goes along with it and gets whacked. Martin starts creating the centipede. But unlike Dr. Hyder from the first movie, he is not an elite surgeon. These are the tools that he uses. Bro literally packed a brush. He uses a hammer to knock the people's teeth out, cuts the tendons in their knees with scissors, and attaches them together with the staple gun and duct tape. It's absolutely grotesque. One of my critiques from the first movie is that I thought the concept was a lot crazier than the actual execution. Well, this is completely different. They tried to be as disturbing as possible and show you the entire centipede creation process. I was tossing and turning and moaning in my bed while watching this. It's nasty. And once the centipede is complete, Martin starts acting like Dr. Hyder. He's letting his nuts hang, showing the people what they look like, and trying to get Jenny to eat out of a bowl. Crazy meat riding if you ask me. He ends up shoving a tube and funnel down Jenny's throat so that he can feed her chicken soup and then rips her tongue out so she'll stop screaming, even though she can still make noises without a tongue. He then tries to get them to shit by rubbing their tummies and making fart noises. When that fails, he's like, Brain blast! I'm gonna inject each of them with laxatives to make them shit, which he does, and... <laughs> the fart noises are so crazy. And they decided to really get cute with the diarrhea, okay? It splatters on the camera, and it's not black and white like the rest of the movie. They made it brown, just in case it's unclear what it is. It's terrible. This pregnant woman who is presumed dead, and therefore not used in the centipede, runs out of the warehouse screaming. And while driving away, she gives birth and then accidentally crushes her baby while trying to step on the gas. Can't make this up. We go back inside and the centipede is now split in half because one guy decides to rip his face away. And Martin is like, yeah, maybe this has gone too far and just deletes all of them. He goes to slice Jenny's neck, but hesitates and she punches him in the dick. Then proceeds to shove a funnel in his ass and put a centipede in it. Which pisses him off, so he stabs her in the throat. But I guess Martin didn't take critical damage from this, because we cut to him back at work, re-watching the human centipede again. Okay, so two of his victims were a couple with a baby. They were the people that he shot in the car. So he took them and left the baby in the car, which had to have been at least a day and a half ago. Unless the passage of time in this movie is just that fucked. And the movie just ends with the baby crying in the car. What is the point? <laughs> 